Are parts of your home hotter in the summer and colder in the winter? Now, before you go and add insulation to your attic, you might want to do some air sealing. Air leaks allow hot air out during the winter and in during the summer, and you want to stop all of that unwanted transfer by doing some air sealing. Air sealing is pretty simple. All you want to do is get some caulk or maybe some foam sealant like this and fill the holes between the living space and the attic. Now don't fill any vents to the outside because the attic is supposed to be vented to the outside. You just want to fill the holes between the attic and the living space. Where are those? Well, if you look up at your ceiling when you're inside your home, you'll see lighting fixtures, ceiling fans, things like that. They'll have a corresponding electrical box on the other side that will need to be sealed. Recessed lighting is a special case because many of the older housings don't allow insulation to be pushed up against them because they get too warm and it's a hazard. So you'll need to buy a cap like this one at your local home improvement center. And essentially you fit the cap over the fixture and then you foam the space between the edge of the cap and the floor of the attic. It's pretty simple. Those electrical boxes will need to be sealed around the edge and then any place air can get in. So around the wires and any nail holes. Look for the spot where wires enter the tops of walls and go down to switches and outlets. That's a classic place for an air leak. If you've got any ductwork up there, you want to seal the perforation between the attic and the living space below. Remember, your attic air is supposed to be the same temperature as the outdoor air. That's why air sealing is so important. Take a few minutes. Go up into your attic and do some air sealing of your own. It'll go a long way toward making your home more comfortable and efficient.